Chris and Dave um, retired moments and our video is supposed to be about what we're doing in our retired life how we keep saying how we don't you know want to kill each other um, and we haven't really had much chance to do that uh, we had a very busy year last year with other things going on that we did not plan so um, we didn't get very many videos done but this year I decided I'm going to start doing videos more so this is the first one that I'm doing this year um, one of the things that I enjoy doing is reading books and another thing I enjoy doing is cooking and baking these are some of my guilty pleasures that I, I do um, being retired well, last year I found a book at a probably a used bookstore or something, and it was by Nancy Atherton, and it was called Aunt Dimity's Christmas, I think is what it was called. But um, I read it because I was reading a lot of Christmas books. So I read it, and at the end of the book it had a recipe. And I thought, oh, how neat, because it talked about these angel cookies in the book and so then it had the recipe at the end of the book for the angel cookies so I found a few other Nancy Atherton books she's the one who writes Aunt Dimity and I found some more of her books and you know bought them and started looking in the back and they all have recipes in the back of the book so I thought I'm going to start making these recipes that are in the back of her books um, I'll read the book and then when I get done reading it, which I just finished reading this one, Aunt Dimity's Good Deed, this is the third book. Um, I don't have all the books and, and I'm trying to fill in the ones I don't have, but it, it's she's written quite a few of the books, so I have a lot to buy. But um, This is the last one I read and in the back it has Uncle Tom's Butterscotch Brownies and, a and it's a very simple recipe. That's the other thing I liked. All the ones I've seen so far are fairly simple dog he's not in the kitchen he's in the dining room but anyway a very simple recipe so this one um, I thought it's simple it doesn't take a lot of ingredients I don't need to really buy anything I'm gonna go ahead and make this one so I thought I'm gonna start doing videos on making her recipes as I read the book and I finish the book I'll make the recipe in the back of the book and um, try to remember to record myself when I do so. Now on this one, I will be honest, I did make this last week on Thursday and uh, we took it to our, our Bible study for um, our small group Bible study through our church. So we, I took it to that and, and shared it with the people there for a snack. And then, um, but this one is going to go to Kason's house and he can share it with his housemates and his staff and, and so they can all share it because Dave and I don't need it um, but I enjoy making it so it's giving me a, a good reason to make stuff and I get to get my guilty pleasure of baking it again this one is called Uncle Tom's Butterscotch Brownies there's not actual like butterscotch it uses dark brown sugar when Dave did taste a little bit last week he said he didn't taste butterscotch but somebody at our small group said they did taste butterscotch so um, but yeah, it, it actually I did have a little piece. Uh, Dave and I shared a little bite just to make sure it tasted okay for group. And it was really good. It was very, very good. So I already pre-measured out all my stuff. It's in um, cups, not um, 
weight, so I prefer to actually bake by weight, but but the recipes in cups and stuff, so I just measured out everything ready to go, got the pan ready to be popped in the oven, the oven's preheated, ready to go. So I just gotta mix it all together. So let's go, let's get some baking done. So Uncle Tom's Butterscotch Brownies. It starts out with a half a cup, which is one stick of melted butter. Um, it doesn't specify salted or unsalted. I use salted because it drives me nuts when it doesn't specify unsalted or salted. So I'm assuming if it doesn't specify, it just means salted. And then it takes two cups of dark brown sugar. And we will get these mixed in. So use a loud noise, insert music here. Okay, so we got the butter and the brown sugar mixed. Um, you okay? I'm too old for this. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I left it. I need to have all those people working behind my counter like Julia Child, but I don't have that. So I do have my husband Dave, and he does a good job of it. So it's mix the dark brown sugar in the, and the melted butter and then it calls for two eggs so we'll put them in one at a time get them mixed well <laughs> Like we won't mention what, but trust me, it does taste delicious. Um, okay, sorry, I got a scrapey scrapey. Get this stuff all mixed in well. And calls for, I always like to do my liquids and then add my dry goods to my liquids. Um, I admit, when I made this the first time, it was like, um, looked very crumbly <laughs> at first and I thought maybe I was going to have to add some kind of moisture to it but I did not it just does take a lot of mixing to get it um, right now it does call for a teaspoon of vanilla but I'm a vanilla person like you wouldn't believe so this is actually two teaspoons of vanilla um, I did make this vanilla myself yet something else I've done on my retirement started making vanilla but luckily it makes a lot of vanilla so I don't make it very often but it's still fun <laughs> and then last is one and a half cups of flour and two teaspoons of baking powder so we will put these in here there's my flour and then finish mixing it put it in the pan <laughs>
and I should have probably mixed in a little bit at a time because I'm getting flour everywhere. But this is Christie's Kitchen, not culinary school, so we do it my way. Let's see. Okay, so we have it all mixed up. Let me get this out of the way. As I said, I already have my pan ready. Um, called for a buttered pan, but uh, butter, things stick when I butter them, so I don't like to butter. I used uh, spray, and then I also put in parchment paper um, because it really does help to not stick. So it is thick, so it's something that I will have to like press it into place, but it goes in good. Another thing is, is it does say to cook at 375, but um, that's... Um, a nine inch square pan and this is 11 by 7 so it the pieces are a little bit thinner um, because they're spread out and there's more uh, room in this pan so I'm cooking it at 350 um, so it'll be a, a, a lower temperature but um, that way I can you know get the inside cooked without cooking the outside and get this in. Just get this spread around. Oh yeah. It's really, really creamy. It's like almost like peanut butter consistency. Kinda. But it and just smoothing it out. Sorry it does take a few Get this done. Right. Okay, so we have it ready to go. I'm going to just pop it in the oven and I will just start checking on it after about 35 minutes because uh, I don't want it to overcook but like I said it's it's thinner than what the recipe calls for because I do have a uh, slightly bigger pan and um, so it's slightly thinner than, than what it would normally be but I'm going to pop it in the oven here we go Moments later. Are you recording it? Yeah, I am. I just want to. Time's up. I'm going to quickly pull it out. Test it. I don't know if it's going to be done or not. Ooh, hot oven. Ooh, it looks. Good. It actually looks like it might be done already. So, yep, looks pretty clean. So we will call it good. Smell it. Mm. Okay. 
there. So baked it, tested it. It's 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 solid. And um, so yeah, it's coming out clean. So we're gonna let it cool. You cool it for about 15 minutes, and then I'll cut it up. I have a plate to put it on because this is just going to Kaysen, so I don't get this plate back. Back, I don't care. So I will let it cool a little bit, cut it up, and then put it on the plate and get it ready to go to Kaysen's house. More moments later. If the timer went off, it's time to cut it up. We're gonna cut it up, put it on this plate over here. I'm not perfect at cutting, so these lines are not gonna be straight. But it's not a beauty contest. It's so we're gonna get this cut up and I'll pull one out and we'll see what it looks like. Okay. My cousin Pam made some chocolate chip cookies one time. They were ugly, but they were very good tasting. Probably the best tasting, that's the thing. They were legendary. Oh. Uh, it says it makes 16. I'm making probably about 18 brownies with the way I'm cutting them. So, but again, it takes a nine by nine pan normally. Um, and I'm not going to, there it goes. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. Mmm, looks delicious. Um, it takes nine by nine pan normally. I'm, uh, I do have a nine by nine glass pan but I did not want to use my nine by nine I will just put these on this plate and then put some plastic wrap on it uh, tomorrow shopping with Kaysen so we will run it over to him then when we go to take him shopping and again he can share it with his housemates and his staff that uh, take care of him so I'm sure they'll enjoy a little treat there we go. Some are big. <laughs> and some are little. That's okay. There. I think Aunt Dimity would be proud of me. <laughs> there they go. Thank you.